Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn some applications of matrices. The first one we're going to look at is writing the equation of a line using matrices in standard form. So let's look how we do this. Okay, so let's say you're given two points. It can be any two points. Normally we would write the slope and the y-intercept and then write the equation of a line. Well, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use a matrix to do that. So what you're going to do, you've got this little formula over here. And I'm going to go ahead and draw. This is supposed to be a full matrix. So I'll go ahead and draw in the lines. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to find the determinant of this matrix and set it equal to zero. But we're going to use some variables. So X and Y and 1 end up being the first row of our matrix, and it's a three by three matrix, so x, y, one. Then we're gonna plug in the two ordered pairs as x, one, y, one, and x, two, y, two, with ones in the final column. Then we're ex gonna expand to find the determinant by whatever method you learn. Some people use expansion by minors, other people use diagonals. I actually prefer expansion by minors, so that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so let's set this up. Here's our matrix. The first row is x, y, and 1. Okay, the two points we're going to find, write the equation for, are the, contain the points 2, 3, and negative 4, 1. So I'm going to start with 2 and 3, and 1 is my last column, and then negative 4 and 1, and then 1 is my last column. Okay, so I've set my matrix up. Now I'm going to use expansion by minors. So I always like to write the A part minus B, in this case A and B are X and Y, plus C, which is positive 1, that's your first row, A plus B minus C, I'm sorry, A minus B plus C, and then you're going to calculate your 2 by 2 determinant. So th there's another video on a 3 by 3 matrix, so if you need to look at this, you can, but I multiply 3 times 1, I get 3, and then I subtract the other 2 by 2, which is 1 times 1, so I'm going to subtract 1. And then for the second portion, I take out the row and the column, and I take 2 times 1, which is 2, minus negative 4 times positive 1, which is negative 4, and then for the C portion, I take out the final column and the top row, and I find the determinant of that 2 by 2, and that's going to be 2 minus negative 12. And I set all of that equal to 0. So let me go back up here. I probably should have gone ahead and set that to 0 to my, write my equation. Now I'm just going to simplify. So I combine those, and that's going to give me 2x. Okay, I combine these, and that's going to give me 6, and so that's going to be a minus 6. And then I'm going to combine these, and that's going to give me a positive 14. And we set that all equal to 0. Now, I'm really close. Standard form is AX plus BY is equal to C. So I need to, my, to move whoops, my constant to the far side. And then in standard form, A always has to be positive, or we typically is A is positive to really be in standard form. So I'm just going to take this equation since A is positive, A is 2, so it's positive, we're good, minus 6Y. Whoops, I jumped around on that one. Sorry, my little mouse jumped on me. Let me clean that up for you. Okay, minus 6y is equal to negative 14. Now, you could leave it like this, but it does simplify slightly. All these numbers divide by 2, so I can just divide by 2, and I can write this as x minus 3y is equal to negative 7. And that is actually the best form in standard form because a is positive and it's equal to the constant and it's also reduced and we don't have any fractions. So there we go. There is how you find the equation of a line given two points. There you go. Hope this was helpful.